I have been wanting to do this video for some time, and I know that some of you might be thinking I've gone crazy for covering the subject, but the truth is, I find these alleged encounters extremely interesting. In 1853 in Ireland, a boy named Neil Colton was out behind his home with his brother and female cousin gathering berries. Then they started to hear some very strange but beautiful music playing nearby. So they went to go see where this music was coming from, and when they climbed over a rock, they saw a group of very tiny people dancing and playing instruments. And when these tiny people noticed that they were being observed, one of them ran towards Neil's cousin and struck her in the face with what seemed to be an odd looking branch. Now the children were terrified and they ran away as fast as they could back to their house. And on the way back, Neil's cousin dropped dead. So Neil's brother went to go get a priest and the priest was able to bring her back from the dead, making me wonder if she just passed out. Now the priest was not shocked at all by their story and he said that they were very lucky that they were able to get away as most of the time when children or adults come face to face with fairies, they tend to disappear. Then again, in 1862, two men, David Evans and Evan Lewis were driving through Wells one day when they decided to stop for a nice little rest near a farm. While the two men were resting, Evans spotted something rather strange. He saw a line of at least 50 or so figures going up the side of a hill. Now Evan and David were pretty far away, but they came to the conclusion that these people or whatever they were, had to have been extremely small. So Evan and David were very curious and they wanted to get closer and while they were walking, they noticed that these tiny people were dancing in a circle. Then they disappeared as if by magic into the side of the hill. Then they reappeared one by one and started to dance again. And yet again, they disappeared before Evan and David could get close enough to determine what exactly it was they were looking at. Now Evan and David just couldn't stop talking about what they saw. They were shocked. Then they spotted an old man walking on the side of the road. So they ran down towards him and they told him what they had just witnessed, hoping that he could shed some light on these mysterious creatures. Now this old man wasn't surprised at all by their story. And he told Evan and David that throughout the centuries, there have been a lot of sightings of these tiny fairy-like creatures within this exact area. Another very strange encounter comes from a mail car driver in 1884 on the Isle of Man. The mail car driver was off doing his rounds when he encountered a very large group of what he described as fairies. And according to the mail car driver, these were not very nice fairies as they stopped the driver and threw all the mail bags onto the road. And yet again, they started to dance around the bags. Now the mail car driver was very pissed off and he got off his cart and one by one placed the bags back onto the cart. But these fairies were not having it and they kept throwing the mail bags onto the road and this went on for hours until they finally had enough and ran away. And when the mail car driver finally arrived back to the station, he told everybody what happened to him and his fellow co-workers started to laugh. Now some did wonder if he was telling the truth as there have been a lot of sightings of these tiny fairy-like creatures on the Isle of Man going back for a very long time. Another very interesting encounter comes from a children's book author, Mary Tregold. One day Mary was riding the bus on the Isle of Mule in 1973. While she was riding the bus, the bus pulled off to the side of the road to let another car pass. And while the bus was stopped, Mary noticed a very tiny man with a shovel digging a hole. At first she wondered if it was a statue, but as she kept looking, she realized that this tiny man was moving and he was digging. Mary estimated that this tiny man must have only been about 15 to 20 inches tall. And she also noticed that his blue overalls were glowing. Now Mary sat there in total shock, watching and wondering if what she was seeing was actually real. Now Mary only saw this tiny man for only a few seconds, but that bus ride changed her life forever as she never believed in fairy-like creatures before. But after seeing this tiny person with her own eyes made her a full-blown believer. In 2005, a man known as Jeff and his girlfriend were visiting friends in Pennsylvania and everybody was having a great time enjoying a nice summer evening in a very isolated forested area. Then the group of friends started to hear some odd noises behind them. And when they turned to look, they saw a creature that was only about 10 inches tall. And whatever this was had a human head, pointy ears, and something wrapped around his body. And it was also floating in midair. Now JF and his friends were speechless and they just stared in awe. Then they realized that this tiny creature was actually a tiny woman with wings and it also possessed a very odd greenish like glow. Then it flew away back into the thickness of the forest. Now they couldn't believe what they had just witnessed and they stayed up all night trying to find it. 
and after a lot of arguing and debating, they all agreed that it had to have been a fairy. And still to this very day, they searched these woods, hoping to come face to face with this creature again. Now I personally do not believe in fairies, although I try to keep an open mind. But one thing that is pretty shocking is most of these sightings come from pretty much the same region and there have been a lot of sightings of these fairies or really tiny people going back for eons, making me wonder, could there actually be an unknown species of tiny human-like people who once lived or do live within these regions? Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.